Anyways, we're gonna get started yes. here. <laughs> guys, I'm so excited. We have Miss Asia in the house today. I'm so so stoked. I just saw you last week. You took my class. Yay! It was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I was really super sweaty at, at that class. Um, but yeah, so excited to bring you our first stripper on the podcast because it's stripped by Sia, so we obviously got to represent here. So, Miss Asia, can we can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, of course. <laughs> so, my name's Asia. I've been dancing for two years almost. Yeah, Gosh. almost two years now. Has it been that yeah. long already? <laughs> this is insane. I remember when you were first starting out. Yeah. It was like I did my amateur night yesterday or something. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that amateur night. We both did amateur night together. Yes, we did. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Uh, like to say that you were the first one who actually got me into stripping so <laughs> you diverted me to the dark side <laughs> i guess ironically i didn't start stripping till like a year later yeah. <laughs> that's amazing so how has your journey been with that so you started off doing amateur night at the penthouse yes I legendary did. yeah did it at the penthouse and i think i waited probably a full month or something to actually start on the circuit for stripping. Okay. So what I did was I I looked up some agencies and I just applied online and they got back to me like right away. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, this is happening. So signing out all the forms, blah blah blah, and I got my first booking at the Alder Inn. Woo! Wow. The Alder. Oh, uh, rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace, Alder. Oh man, we'll get into that later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So. Um, you talked about the circuit. So what is the circuit for non-stripper folk or, you know, the general public? <laughs> what does that mean? So the circuit means we, it's like we circulate through different strip clubs throughout uh, BC, mainly in the Van- main Vancouver area. Mm-hmm. So there's the Alder Inn uh, in Maple Ridge. Oh, wait, wait, no. <laughs> wait, where was that one? Uh, where no, was that again? There's, there's the Alder Inn in Old Grove. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, wait. And there's uh, the Caddy Shack in Maple Ridge. Here we go. And then there's number five. Yeah, number Pent five. House. Penthouse. What else? And is there? I think that's only those two for Vancouver. Shakers? Oh, Shakers is in Surrey. Yep. And, and the northern BC. Yeah, and then <laughs> up north is. What's in up William, there? Williams Lake yep. in Fort St. John's. I believe that's... Oh, in uh, Kelowna. Uh, Cheetos. Cheetos. I believe right. just reopened up uh, yes. a few months ago now. It did. So. It just reopened. So yeah. it's nice to see Revival since that one closed down just a couple years ago. But yeah. now it's... Uh, it's reopened. I hope they hang in there this time. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> it's a dying it's a dying breed of mm-hmm. venues mm-hmm. as we'll soon talk about later on in the podcast. So, yeah, that's really interesting. So how how was it when when you first started? Was it really nerve-wracking? Or if you want to touch on your experience as um, a baby stripper when you did amateur night, can you remember that at all? Oh, <laughs> so long ago. Okay. Um, I remember my first amateur night. And remember, I believe it was you and some other girls are saying, the biggest advice was don't lock your knees. Oh! <laughs> don't, lock, don't lock your knees on stage. So I was like, okay, like, what does that mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, of course, uh, when it's my turn to get on stage, I'm so weak in my legs, I can't feel them. Very wobbly leg. I'm like, oh, no, it probably looks like I don't even know how to walk in my heels anymore. <laughs> I probably look like shit, but I'm just going to twerk, twerk it out or something. <laughs> so I was very, very nervous. Probably yeah. Was, I, I performed in front of crowds thousands of times beforehand because I did pole dancing a few years before. Oh, actually, I didn't know stripping, that. actually. Yeah. What? Yes. I didn't know that. Wait, where? What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Mind blown. Okay, tell me about this time. So this oh. is the second wind of stripping. Okay. Oh, yeah. So done pole dancing. Mm-hmm. So pole dancing classes at Tantra Fitness. Ooh, represent. Yes. And uh, also Ava Fitness. Okay. Also represent. Yes. Also dance there as well. Yes. So I'd like to thank those studios for Showing getting me away. prepared for the stripper life. <laughs> it yes. really helps. Definitely. And yes. that does help a lot too because obviously that's how, kind of how I started as well. Starting taking classes and I'm just like, well, let's take off my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> the so, next step. Yes, the next step. <laughs> right? <laughs> so going back to amateur night, 
um, that's, yeah, I remember amateur night. I've done many of those. But it is really nerve-wracking because, as you can tell, like, can you remember what happens, like, what goes down during amateur night? I just remember that they don't let you pick your songs. It's just kind of like a Russian roulette. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, um, not fun. Yep, yeah, they don't, we don't get to pick our own songs, our own type of music that really probably expresses us as a person. Uh, so they picked their own music. Half the time, I didn't even know what the song was. Wasn't sure what it was. It was... Could have been techno, for all I knew. <laughs> and um, and they, they also cut the song, so you can't tell when the song's ending. That too. Or if it's right in the middle, and like, oh yeah, I know this song's probably right in the middle, and then they just cut it and be like, oh, whoops, I didn't take off my panties yet. <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and I think, what was it, like the first, because you get three songs, basically, and two times you get to go on. So the first time you're on, it's like uh, trying to get the crowd to like, get to know you so you don't have to take off any clothes but of course if you do then it's like you get more money <laughs> uh, for tip for any people wanting to try amateur night um, if you show a little tit a little nipple people will usually like that and then when you come back on stage for the second round then you get two songs and during that time you definitely must get fully naked yes so within those two songs we do in stripper world in real bar we do dance to two songs. It's called a half set. So that really does get you prepared for when you're out into the bars. So okay. two songs, first song, you know, you dance, take off your bra, second song, then you could take off your panties. Take it all yeah, off. So. The faster you do get naked, the obviously the more tips you definitely receive. Another pro tip for all y'all out there. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, even me, I won't tip unless the panties are off. I want to see all the goods, right? Give me the JJ. <laughs> That's what we want to see, okay? Yeah. Pussy power. <laughs> Woo! So now that you're on the circuit, what's that like being a professional working stripper in BC? How's that going for you? Uh, right now it's going great. I love it. When change it for the world for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you traveling very often in BC? Like where do you usually go? Uh, let's see. Well, I do travel mostly everywhere. Uh, mainly Vancouver and then up north would be Williams Lake and Fort St. John's. I haven't been there quite lately but I'm waiting for this summer to die to die down sometimes yeah. the summertime is a little slower up there oh yes. okay so would you recommend going or working at these places in northern bc later on in the year is it more of like a seasonal yeah. thing well, i think it's more seasonal for me i would say like more winter time definitely probably after september for sure kids are back in school Cool. The parents are allowed to go out. <laughs> Dads yeah. could go out. Yes. Grandpa could go out. Grandpa! <laughs> I <can't> remember that. <laughs> okay, so that's really interesting. I didn't realize that. So are you finding, since this is, this is technically your second summer doing this? Uh, yes. Do you really yes. see that there is a trend there? So like summers are definitely slower and then... Summers are definitely slower, I believe, even everywhere. Um, oh, man. Tell me about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, up north, I was in Williams Lake probably a good two months ago. How'd that so, go? It was all right. The nighttime's all right. Oh, but, daytime. So tell us about the daytime. The day, daytime, it's dead. It's dead, dead AF. It's a small town, so everyone's camping. Everyone's riding their horses. It's very country out there. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. So the night. <laughs> life is a bit more lively but still since it is small town and everyone's still out camping half the town's out camping they're not really going to be going to the local strip club no <laughs> so it's it's a little slower in the in the summer but they do manage okay yes. so wait going back to that so i feel like a lot of people think that strip clubs are only open during the night time they are not no i mean they are open during the day yeah it yes. totally depends on the venue right so mm -hmm. for example penthouse is only open at night but number five number open five all days. day have you done any day shifts i know you just mentioned that you did so yeah. how are How's that? Because that's a let's long say. day. It's a long day. So let's say Caddyshack in Maple Ridge. Mm -hmm. I work full days there. So day to night. So what time and is that? Like how many hours is that? Or how many shows do you get? Or how many? Yeah. How many? So first shows at 1230. Okay. And there's a lunchtime rush. So there's three girls. So one's at 1230. 
one's at 12.45 and one's at one o'clock. Oh, wow, those are quick. It's quick. Only half set, half so two songs. Okay. And that's the lunchtime rush at the caddy. It's a really good time. There's good 10 to maybe even 20 people there. Wow. Yeah. And good yeah. food? Good food, <laughs> good food. Um, a lot of regulars buy me lunch, so. Um, yeah, girls yes. gotta eat. Girls gotta eat. Girls gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. So, like, so you have the lunchtime rush. What happens in between? Is there, like, do you have a break or, like, how often does that work for you? So, let's say after the one o'clock rush uh i believe we're on every hour and a half to almost two hours so we do get like a like a roughly a two hour break in between right uh between each show it's probably 40 40 to 45 minutes wow so, yeah there, there are some breaks so there are times when girls are not on stage but then that's when our customers are right. you know draining out of the bar <laughs> 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 After you drain out their wallet. Yes. <laughs> so, um, hang on. So, how many shows is that per day? So, couple, like, there's one at lunch, there's maybe one in the afternoon, or two there's in the afternoon. There's a few in the afternoon. On average, how much do, how many dances S- do you think you're doing a day? Six to eight. What? Six to eight, yes. I believe on the weekends, like Friday, Saturday, I'll probably have ended up eight times on stage. Wow, that's yes, long. So. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so for the ones that are after lunch, are those full sets? In terms of full sets, four songs, around 15 to 20 minutes? So there are still half sets in, oh, the, okay. in the early afternoon to the late afternoon. Because quiet. So, so it's still quiet, so it's a good, like, be on stage for 8 to 10 minutes nice. time. But uh, we still get, we still have our customers in there, and it's still a good time. And That's awesome. a lot of regulars, do, they, they stay there, and they, they make our day. Yes. Can you tell me about some regulars? Like, like who are these people? What kind of clients are you getting? Who comes into these strip clubs during the day? Um, Do these people work? These are, these are grandpas. Grandpas! Grandpas! <laughs> uh, retired workers for sure. I think they're all retired. Or they just work very, very part-time. They can make their yeah. own hours. Make their, they make their own hours. They make their own clients half the time. Like They're also self-employed as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you know any of them personally? Like, Do any of them talk to you about like their everyday life or they're just like hey I want to dance don't talk to me you know just get naked or what's that like because uh, I suck at vip <laughs> so I'm, I, I suck uh, at vip <laughs> well definitely at every club there's going to be a group of we call them the regulars mm-hmm. so we love you we love you <laughs> I don't have any yet I don't dance that often <laughs> one day you know. so the regulars are uh, either a group of people or individuals who, who are there roughly almost every day to every second day so we I do spend my time mostly with them maybe because they buy me food yes with no questions asked they buy all my drinks they'll yes, buy please. dances and they'll tip really well on stage that's awesome so if you want to be a regular in the club and get all the ladies to sit at your table do those four things do those four <laughs> things and we're talking about etiquette and we're gonna get into that later too because mm. yes we have had one of our followers Followers um, message in with a great question on etiquette, but we will get into that later. Unless you want to get to get into it now, well, you could do the questions later. Okay, we'll yeah. do that. We'll do it in chronological <laughs> order. <laughs> wow, that's so many different regulars, and that's. I wonder how much money they're dropping every couple of days. Like they're buying you lunch. You know, they're paying for your drinks. They're paying for dances. They're tipping you on stage. That's a lot of money. That's that's a lot of money. Me. So I'm making a good amount of money just from them, and then when I'm on stage, and there's you know there's other people in the bar who I don't know or the randoms or the tourists yes. or anything like drop-ins still making money off them as well that's so amazing. they still tip on stage occasionally I'll ask them for a dance they'll go for one that's great yeah I feel like a lot of people are curious to see like what the structure is in terms of of strippers like how they get paid and mm-hmm. stuff so I obviously know because I'm a stripper <laughs> But obviously, we also get paid to be on stage as well. So, yes. so again, there's stage money. So your booking wage. There's also VIP dances. You know, the champagne room, as people like to call it. I don't know why it's called that, but anyways, that and tips, of course, your regulars. So there's lots of ways to get money, right? There's lots of different ways to make money. Uh, there's also selling. So we have promo that we right. call. So we, I sell posters, I sell magnets, I sell stickers 
later. Oh my gosh, yes. I totally forgot about that whole mm-hmm. side so, of things. So we, we make our money Definitely. through selling our promo as well. How do you start doing that? So, because I, I, I always see that at the clubs too. How, how do you start promoting yourself like that? Uh, one, get a, get a good photo shoot from a professional photographer, camera, get professional edits done. Right. Uh, edits done get your name on there you could promote your Instagram any other handles you want only fans only fans <laughs> and then print out posters um, don't get really really like high quality posters because you're going to be selling them probably for 10 20 dollars right nice and get cheap. get nice and cheap or average Yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, get magnets done. Uh, posters and magnets are the most popular. Oh. Uh, I do have lighters, but they're not they're not a hot sell sometimes. Mm. Uh, stickers are actually probably better. Oh, really? I get a lot of people asking for a sticker. What? So they get sticking on anywhere, I guess. Like their water bottle. Uh, you can stick it on your own, their own lighters. I did not know that. Um, baseball what? cap. I get a lot of guys saying that. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> merch, people, merch. Get on that shit by yes. Miss Asia's merch, okay? <laughs> Speaking of Miss Asia, how did you, well, or Asia, how did you come up with your stage name? Oh, uh, okay, so this was years ago. I, so I was walking with my girlfriend down the street, and this, you know, some guys are coming up, like, oh, hi, girls, how are you? And they want to get our names in. Like, me being like, I was totally just going to get my real name. <laughs> and, um, so my girlfriend told, told them, like, oh, no, this is Asia. And uh, her name was like Christine or something. So then I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm Asia, sure. So <laughs> that kind of always stuck. And then that was definitely a few years down the road. And then just I got into stripping. You. Then I thought, oh, yeah, I'm Asia. That's so I'm also Asian. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's so funny because... <laughs> My, well, my most recent stage name is Kimchi, um, but that wasn't what it was before. I actually went through a couple changes. Ooh. I don't know if you knew that. But the first time I did, like, amateur night at the Granville Strip, and the girl who was working there, I forgot what her name was, but she's pretty intense looking. Um, but she's like, <laughs> oh, your name should be Sage. And I'm like, Sage? Sounds like a fucking hippie. Sage. Like, like, essential oil. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You're an essential Sponsor oil. <laughs> Um, and then I was like, no, no, that's not cool. And then when I was doing amateur nights at Penthouse, then um, this guy that I was kind of dating, his ex's name was Vivian. So I chose the name Vivian Lace. Oh. Because, like, it's always, like, a first name and then some kind of flower or, like, silky texture <laughs> or, like, something like that, like, delicate, you know. There's a lot of stage names that I know that are like that. I'm not going to go through all of them, but maybe I'll have them <laughs> on the show. So yeah. we'll see. But that's... It's really interesting. And now I just played on the Asian theme because kimchi's hilarious. And I also got that from RuPaul's Drag Race. That's what I thought. Yes. And I'm like, And apparently, like, I was out dancing at Penthouse last night. And some person was like, hey, did you change your name? You look different or something. I'm like, no, no. It's like, oh, yeah, some girl um, had, um, what's that strip club in the U.S. that's, like, lame and don't have alcohol? Oh, um, uh, I know what you're talking about. The one in the U.S. we won't name. I do know what it is. I, I totally too. forget the name, but yes. So apparently there's a girl down there, and her name is Kimchi as well. I'm like, bitch, I was the one and only. Uh, okay. The and only. Yeah. Like, the uh. end. <laughs> anyway, that was a huge sidebar, but <laughs> just let me share. <laughs> um... I have heard that uh, since I'm Asia, uh, I have heard that there's been another dancer named Asia as well. But this was like probably years ago. I believe she's uh, retired or at least not on our circuit anymore. Oh, but really? I've heard there has been another Asia. And when I introduce myself to other girls who I don't know, and they're like, oh, I know you. you I know you since like 10, 20 years ago. And I'm like, no, no. No, no. I've only danced two years. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are mistaken. Yeah, We're just don't. very unoriginal with our name. Yeah. <laughs> just have the same name that's it that's not the same crazy. girl but hi how are but you 
That's interesting. So getting back on the whole venue scene, um, do you have any favorite venues? I do, but it shut down no! last month. Ah, it was the Fox Showroom yes. Pub in Victoria. And that is my ultimate favorite, favorite pub I've ever danced at. R.I.P. Rest in peace, uh, the Fox. I've also heard many great things about it. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. Can you tell us a bit more? Like, Why was it your favorite? What, what happened there? What, what oh. made it different to, than other venues? Oh, I guess everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a day bar. It's day and night. Um, uh, their stage is like 10 times bigger than any stage I've ever danced on. Wow. It's big, it's round, two poles, one kind of sp- spins, but um, they didn't really oil it. <laughs> so, uh, But it had a bit of give, you know. Right. <laughs> you could get around it three times. <laughs> uh, they have a little metal hoop as well on the stage. So what? That was fun. I did not know that. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, there's Jealous. also another attachment on the stage where you could put your own uh, circus hoop on it, your own silk hammocks or silks on it as well. So. Depends on the apparatus. Yep, yep. They, what? They that promote so that cool. as well. That is um, awesome. Uh, the DJs are awesome. Yes. Like, since the DJs know me so well, they know my music so well, so they love putting in, like, you know, little sexual innuendo jokes <laughs> and uh, try and get the crowd hyped up, sing totally. along, and they're just awesome. That's awesome. Yes, they, they do their job very, very well. That's so great. And you said that I think you mentioned before it's mean they do like theme shows and stuff. Oh yes. So it is a more high end uh, pub so theme shows are or a really good show is I would believe is a must there for at least the evening time. Okay. Yes. And when you say theme shows that's like in costume or what does that mean for the general public? Okay. So <laughs> theme shows would be like schoolgirl. Mm-hmm. So I'll dance, so dance to like kind of schoolgirl type music like Britney Spears. <laughs> Baby, one more time. Yes, that's my <laughs> opening song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So good. And then I, you know, I put it more Asian wise, so I play a bit more Asian or Asian music. Yes. <laughs> Which, uh, if you've seen my shows, it's very comedy. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so there's schoolgirl, there's I have a country set, I'm a cowgirl, so I dance to country music. Fun. Not boring country music, very upbeat country music. Fun. Uh, also have an inflatable horse I dance with as well, <laughs> which is a huge hit on stage. I've definitely seen photos of yes. that. <laughs> Epic. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so the Fox shut down not too long ago. We're really sad about that. It's obviously made big waves within the community. Um, did you want to speak a little bit more on that? Uh, sure. So when it shut down, I believe all the girls on social media, uh, we all posted something about the Fox, our photos and how how we love the Fox, how we love the, the staff members are like, are like little angels. They're so nice and supportive. Uh, even the hotel staff that we because we, we stay at a hotel that's right above the Fox that's right. also attached right? Uh, they're angels as well they treat us like a human being that's so <laughs> and, nice and, oh. and, and the best accommodations ever it's like a real hotel it's clean it's white uh, we had a, like a little mini kitchen oh, we had wow. a fridge oh good uh, two bathrooms better than other better than other accommodations right. uh, or just the rest of accommodations that we've been to around BC. Yes. So <laughs> Every horror it's, story. <laughs> and it's definitely probably the cheapest. Oh. It was like $10 for the week. What? Yes. <laughs> that is so ridiculously cheap. Amazing. <laughs> so second cheapest would be $100 for the week. Wow. Those are somewhere else. That's But insane. still, it's not too bad, but the $10 one in a real hotel, yes, a real please. hotel room. Makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah. You feel, like sure. a, you feel like a princess, <laughs> which is what we are. Yes. We definitely <laughs> are. Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you happen to know why the Fox shut down? Was this like a long time coming thing? Because uh, to me, I thought it was pretty out of the blue because the girls, some girls I knew were still booked for, you know, weeks to come. And the next thing you know, it's just shuttered. Yeah. So I was supposed to be there the week before they shut down. Oh. And I found out on social media. Of course, no one else tells us professionally. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> another topic of annoyance. <laughs> Sheer annoyance. <laughs> 
So um, they they shut down for financial reasons. I think they couldn't make the rent.、Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a little hard trouble paying the girls, the dancers.、Uh, they also work with the hotel, so they they probably do pay a fee with the hotel as well. So lots of overhead, system, lots so. of costs、yeah. and stuff. And then、basically. during the day, d- daytime for the fogs, the atmosphere it was very it's very slow there,、mm-hmm. very very slow. So they would even put us on stage even if there's one person in. The audience. Oh wow! So with one person, obviously they might buy a beer, maybe food. It doesn't cut the cost of them paying us on stage. No. So so definitely, yeah, it's a it's a money thing for them. That、so、sucks. It has been a long time coming that I did talk to、uh, the manager there, and he says, yeah, they they were wanting to shut down the place, but they didn't think it was just going to be so soon. Yeah. It was a it was a shocker、funny. to them as well. They that they had to make that decision. That really sucks. So. It definitely, yeah, it definitely hit the community really hard.、Mm-hmm. I just saw so many po- like posts online from every stripper that I know,、yes. personally and not personally, but like everyone's just pouring their hearts out to me. Like it was like family there, you know, the people and the workers they really cared about them as well, and you know, just great conditions and just treating women like normal human beings, like because we are, right? Yes. <laughs> so it just sucks to see a great establishment like that. Closed down, and now does Victoria even have any more、uh, Victoria strip clubs? No more strip clubs in Victoria. Nothing in Nanaimo. Oh my there god! There is Campbell River. Campbell、oh, River、right. is there.、That's、we、far. have we have JJ's. Yeah, JJ's. Yeah,、yes. that's right. So we still have that, and、yeah. they like the big shows down there too. Yep, they're they're the big shows, just like the Fox. Uh, oh, one thing I'll always remember about the Fox on Saturday nights they were Beaver nights. What? Yes. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> so、uh, our manager would dress up like John Revolta. Oh my gosh! And it would be like he would hand out sex toys to the audience. And there'll be like a little spin the dick type thing, and you play games. Spin the dick. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, explain this. So, okay, so explain the game. <laughs> okay, so after let's say my set, so、uh, John Lavolta would come up on stage with me, and I would spin the dick, <laughs> and I would pick two people. It has to be a female and a male. They get a like a big rubber dice thing, so they'll throw that dice on stage, and whoever has the higher number gets a free sex gets a free sex toy in this big giant bag that, What? that I get to pick out. So <gasps> that sounds like so much. Fun! Hell yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit jealous. I never got to experience <laughs> that as an audience member or being on stage. That's so cool.、Yeah. And then around the end of the night,、uh, we hand out rubber chickens and rubber pigs <laughs> <What> ? to <laughs> the audience. So there's like everyone, like there's like 20 people or 30 people has like these little rubber chickens. There's going to be a big、uh, bucket in the middle of the stage. So you're going to throw your chicken, and if you get it into that bucket, you get The full bag of sex toys. So there's like ten or five items in this bag of sex, different sex toys. Oh my god! You cannot、so. see my face right now. My jaw <laughs> literally dropped to the floor. I am okay, insanely jealous. So that's what was at the Fox, and that's why we all love it. See, it's it、so、was like、fun. like that would be an event night. That would be every Saturday. Wow. Yes. I don't hear of any strip clubs or places doing that ever. Hint, hint. Maybe you should. Yeah. If you guys are listening. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That was、like, so much fun. That's so great. Oh well. Again, R.I.P. <laughs> to the Fox. We will definitely be missing that venue.、Um, also, we spoke earlier a little bit about the Alder Inn closing、oh, as、yes. well, and you also got to dance there as well. Oh yeah. So the Alder Inn closed down pretty recently too. Maybe is this year too? Three, yeah, this year maybe three months ago roughly. Yeah. I feel like there was like another、so. club that closed down too. That was also this year, and I can't remember the name. I want to say it starts with an M, but I forgot now. I forgot. <laughs> Remember, there was a was it on the news? I think it might have been on the news. Okay, so there was a strip club that got torn down. That was、oh. on the news, but that club's been shut down probably for four years. Okay, no, maybe it wasn't that. Yeah, I think it was think, another one. I think it was called the Bird. Okay, no, I think it was something else. But anyways, I'm just well. If you remember, <laughs> yeah. But the the Bird shut down. 
a few years ago and on the news like roughly yes three months ago it got torn down when it got torn down i thought it was the alder and i was just like oh my god <laughs> like they're tearing down the alder because it kind of looked the same on the outside like oh, um you know wow. d- dirty building yeah um, <laughs> real building so, like- uh, but still i was just like that is so heartbreaking like tearing down the alder on the news like no and it just shut down so you obviously but. had some memories of the alder as well then. yes is that it- it was my first club I've ever danced at, ever experienced stripping. Oh, oh. In, a, in its own, so. Wow, tell me about that. So the Alder Inn is a day-to-night pub as well. Mm-hmm. Um, all shows day-to-night are only half shows. Wow. Uh, dances are, are every half hour, and usually there's three girls, so we're on every hour and a half. So we're working. We're, we're on stage half-line. definitely every six to eight times a day wow and busy. it's it's a hard it's hard working at the older i would say if you're on like eight times a day tiring yes it's tiring very it is tiring very very physical job <laughs> yes. right so <laughs> oh gosh uh they do have a nice stage there's a really nice big mirror in the back of the stage so i actually like dancing to myself in the mirror <laughs> <laughs> um That's when i when best. i when i worked there <laughs> Wow, so that, that <laughs> shut down just a few months ago, too. Yes. Um, Why was that? Do you know what the reason um, was behind that? Yes, there was a few things that happened. Um, the city bought it. Oh. Uh, that would be the short answer. Yes, the city yeah. bought it. Uh. Also, for the city, there was a petition that was being sent out that was run by women mm-hmm. to shut the alder down. They got over 9,000 signatures to get the alder shut down. And they won. The petition the was... The petition went through and... But it was started by women? It was started by women. What the fuck? Right? Wow, okay, I did not know that. Yeah, That's so, so appalling. Mm-hmm. That makes me so sad. Yeah, so alder in... I would think it's kind of small town, so I was yeah. like very shocked of... Why would they want the alder shut down because the alder uh they had no problem financially mm-hmm. it was probably the most busiest bar day to night yeah i know there's always there often. 20 people always there right 20 to more so it was a busy yeah. bar like almost all the time so you think that a lot of people in the community were affected by it somehow they just weren't okay with it being in the community is yes. what you're saying what the fuck yeah that's awful. Like, why do you think that is? Like, I understand, like, people's feelings about strip clubs, you know. But, like, I don't know. And I think that's exactly why. It's, um... So, it, it's, a, it's a church community. I see. Um, a lot of a lot of, lot of religious uh, views. Uh, I guess women and probably men have the same on. Oh, we're like demons, you know. Strippers are demons. Yeah, it's or, the you devil. Know, something like that. Like oh my God, naked women. Like all oh, these poor girls putting what we go through. We're not forced to strip. It's our own choice. Yeah, <laughs> and that's another thing too. You know, a lot of people think like, oh my gosh, all these strippers are on drugs and they're high and they're forced to be in these bad situations and the, yeah there are maybe a couple but like all the girls that i work with and we work with the same people i don't know anyone that's on drugs except for weed like you know people's vaping and stuff you yeah. know smoking it up that's fine but like even like when i dance i don't even drink at all a lot of the girls i know are just like they don't even do anything yeah. So I don't know where that kind of assumption happened. I don't know why people think like that. It's just super conservative and super frustrating. Because we're just... It's like a job, guys. It's just a job. Which you go to your work... You go like, to your work as drunk. well. Yeah. It's not this... It's, it's different. It's just a job, though. But it's just very frustrating. Yeah. It's how we pay our rent. How we pay our bills. Some of us, this is how we support our family. Right? right? So I don't so. really see why there's a huge disconnect. And it's just so upsetting to hear about about that like because mm-hmm. i always feel like well not always feel but like lately i just feel like all these clubs are starting to close down slowly there's a, a little bit of a decline of strip clubs and venues um they're like starting to become like a little bit extinct because there's only a few left <laughs> there's now. only a few left so you better bring better your there. 
Better get your butts down to the club while you can. And bring your wallet. <laughs> bring your too. wallet too, so we could be still employed. Yes, exactly. Because it is these usually four, at least four girls on a night, mm-hmm. plus all the girls that come into VIP as well, yeah. which is they can just do that whenever. Yeah, anyone can do that. But it's just I don't know why it is. Like, do you think it's because of the community? People just trying to you know banish that kind of bad. It could be the community. community maybe financial issues maybe with a lot of people right because obviously the club has to you know pay the rent pay the girls yeah. blah 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 they need blah, to make blah. money too like you know right and then um i do notice in cl- clubs like not many of you um make it rain <laughs> like in the movies <laughs> right so, so it's like in the states only <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're at number five for move something. That's something yeah, else. if you're there for move something, then it's different. That, that's when you actually get rained on with money. Last Thursday, every night, guys, at number five. Yes. <laughs> In case you did not know. <laughs> Sidebar. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I wonder if it's just like the way that technology is now, you know, with all these like clips for free cam girls and like OnlyFans pages and stuff, you know, we're just, sex is kind of like readily available anywhere. Like I wonder if that has anything to do with it, perhaps. What do you think about that? I think it's always been around for years. All these right? like for porn, for porn stars, for uh, porno clips online. You could probably just YouTube it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it hasn't gone shut down yet, then yeah, like you can find it for free. But it's so much of a different experience to actually go to a venue and see a physical girl in front of you. Yes. Dancing. It's a live See performance. Naked. Yes. Yeah. The live performance yeah, aspect different. of it. Yeah. Because it's almost like it's almost like it's theatrical, right? We're literally putting on a show for you. It's not just girls dancing in their underwear, although that's my set. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but it's I guess we're not just twerking, but that's all I do. <laughs> it's like wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but we are putting on a show, right? Mm-hmm. So um yeah, I think I have to agree with you on that. Like I just feel like there's just a different element of like seeing a girl in the flesh and in person and up close um, which is very 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 different than what you can just find online and it's I don't know I find it's more personal here too but yeah, on the could, flip side you could even talk to the girl as well yes like oh we're human beings we different personalities we're all normal we're all normal we have hobbies <laughs> we have different interests we and do so... we're just like normal people okay <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, we did get quite a number of questions from uh, Instagram and Facebook. So why don't we just go ahead and get into that Q&A right away? Because there's quite a little list here, which is amazing. So um, first question is, do you ever feel self-conscious about any of your body parts? I seriously admire all dancers for getting and being sexy on stage, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, do you ever get Um, self-conscious? Sometimes, yes. Yes, I do. Um, I have a bit of a belly. Sometimes I don't care about, but sometimes it's like, oh yeah, you see other girls and they have like rock hard abs all the way down, all the way down. So I'm like, oh, I don't look like that. But at the same time, um, I do have lots of men saying like, oh, you have such a cute belly, and it like (laughs) brings up my confidence right up. So like, thank you. Everyone's totally different. Um, Great girls are in. Yes, (laughs) (laughs) love it. Love it. I believe that's the only thing I could be self-conscious about. Also on stage, uh, if I do like a full set, like a really high energy set, I do get quite sweaty. So I makeup's probably everywhere. My hair is everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm somewhat concerned of like, what do I look like? Do I look like shit? Do I look like I'm exhausted? Like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> is my eyeliner running? <laughs> probably no one looks at my face at that point. <laughs> no, I don't think people are looking at your face, Asia. <laughs> Other body parts, yes. yes <laughs> other than that, I'm happy with my body and love it. Body positivity, yes. y'all. Body positivity. Um, so we got this question already. How long have you been dancing for? You've been just dancing uh, for like two, two years. years, right? Oh, I love this question. Okay. So, lady patrons, dancing near the stage, yay or nay? Oh, uh, if you are respectful, yay. Yes. If you're loving the uh, the woman dancing and you're being supportive, I love you. Yes. But I have gotten ladies at the stage and, you know, they have their arms crossed. They're kind of giving you a smug look. Oh. And it's just like, why are you here? 
Really? Uh, I fucking hate pre- I actually so. <laughs> I hate it when girls are dancing like, by the mm. stage. Like, unless you're fucking throwing money down, don't be dancing near the stage and, like, distracting from my performance. Because I feel it's yeah. rude. You should just, like, sit your ass back down in that fucking seat. Come up when you're tipping me and shut the fuck up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I well, like, like, drunken girls. You know? Yeah, like, well, one, they won't say anything. Which is like I kind of wish they would just say something to my face, right? But if they're being, it's like, it's smug. like the smug silence. It's like it like, bugs me, here? and then they don't don't tip. Like if there's a huge group of them, like six of them, they all don't tip, and it's like obvious. It's just like uh, it's like what the fuck. It makes me feel awkward. But the best thing is like obviously don't go up to them unless I see you know money in front of them. Then don't go up to them. But exactly. other than that, I guess yeah, yeah like, depending on the circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, that's his question too. So. Uh, customer etiquette um, and things you shouldn't ask a stripper that you have been asked. Oh, <laughs> I um, this one. Things not to ask a stripper. Uh, probably like, oh, do you have a boyfriend? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> don't ask me if I have a boyfriend. What's it like? Why? If I say no, does it mean I'm gonna go out with you? No, most likely not. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, like, still no. Don't ask me if I have a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. A lot of us do have girlfriends. Right. But yeah, don't ask us uh, what's our relationship status. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a big or thing. Like, what's your real name? Oh, real name. Oh, that's a fuck fun one. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that's so annoying. My favorite response to that is like, what's the whitest girl name I could think of? <laughs> hmm, uh, um, in terms of like customer etiquette, do you have anything to say on that? I know I definitely have <laughs> shit to say on that. <laughs> can go on and on forever. Um, etiquette. Um, don't, oh, probably my one of my pet peeves is when you're at the stage, don't lean forward. Unless you want to get kicked in the face. Yeah, you're going to get kicked in the face. <laughs> and plus you're making me nervous because I think you're going to come out and grab me. Oh yeah, that's yeah. pretty nice. Um, uh, lean back, hold your beer, because yes. I've kicked many glasses of bottles of beer off the stage, and they go fine. into the person who's sitting next to you's lap. Yeah, not um, fun. <laughs> not fun. Definitely been doing that. <laughs> hold on to your beer. I'm, be- I'm very cautious of where my feet are, but sometimes okay. you go... Happen. Yeah, things happen. Heel goes over, half my costume goes over, like a cape or whatever. Yes. So. Also, if you are sitting in the front row, the rule is, if you sit in the front row, you better fucking tip for every fucking song, <laughs> guys. Every fucking song. Not just at the last time when I'm naked. No. There's four <laughs> songs in a full set. You tip for each fucking song, okay? <laughs> if, you're go- if you're not going to sit, if you're going to sit in the front row, and you're just going to sit there and... Like, look at my vagina for free. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> sit no, back no. there. <laughs> Get your ass You can back. sit in the back of the bar. Yes. Which is where other people sit and they know they're not going to tip, which is totally fine. Yes. But if you do sit up at the front of the stage, at least $5. At least, at least. At least. I mean, it is very minimum, but... Come on. But you could spare $5. Yeah, guys. you could spare $5. I what mean, that's, come here for? that's what your beer is for. Yes, exactly. So, if you do sit at the front, yes, sit back on the make room tables. for patrons that actually want to pay us. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any other things on that? <laughs> Other than, yeah, it's very annoying when you sit at the stage and don't tip. It yes. makes me feel like, what did I not do, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Here's a deeper question. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, in five years. I hope stripping. If there's available bars still available. If there's not, um, I'm almost thinking of going back to my old job. Maybe being an esthetician again. Doing Yay! Doing nails. Yes, please. Um. <laughs> do my nails. Of course. Asia has the best nails all the time, just to let you know. Check out her claws next yeah. time we see her on stage, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cool. Stop looking at my boobs. Look at my nails. <laughs> <laughs> so what um, what keeps you going? Like, what's your motivation? What keeps you going to continue on in this profession besides Ooh. the money? Because <laughs> the Obvious, money Obviously the money. But I think it's like performing. Mm-hmm. I love thinking of new types of performances, new costumes, new music. Uh, how can I make my old my older sets more better? Mm-hmm. So I think the cr- creating of the performance on stage That's really like part. drives me. Definitely. Yes. Uh, when I hear new music or other girls' music who that I listened to maybe back in the nineties, I'm like, oh yes, this song. So I'm <laughs> like I'll definitely put this in my set. Throwback <laughs> so, Thursday. Yes. <laughs> um, what's the craziest? 
move you've ever done on stage? Craziest move? Or maybe the craziest show? I know you crazy some crazy show. shit. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> but people don't even know Pro- what the moves are called, um, like, <laughs> unless you see it. I don't know if any of them crazy. I just, like, I could do everything with my eyes closed. <laughs> you, did, you did some cool things at the BC, um, What's that competition we did at the Caddy? Oh, um... Miss Nude BC. Miss Nude BC? Yeah, your yes. show was pretty fucking crazy. Was it? That's messy. I didn't so. win. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Still, we suck. <laughs> Maybe paint shows? Yeah. I'm not really... I'm, well, I, I like paint shows, but I'm not 100% comfortable with the paint because it was... So um, yeah, I remember I had paint all over the stage because uh, the manager says the more paint, the better. The more messier, the better. So, yeah, I flood the stage and then I had balloons taped to the stage with glitter. Oh gosh, so, of course, that. when I stood up... Not in my heels, but I'm so short and I couldn't really reach the balloons. <laughs> didn't think it over. I slipped like probably a few times, <laughs> like, but didn't fall over. But it was a good like whoop slip. It's all part of the show, guys. Yeah, it's all then, part of the act. <laughs> of course, the DJ like I think he shouted it out like, "Oh, oh, is she gonna fall or not?" I'm like <laughs> looking at him like snake eye, like evil eye. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so fun. That was a good show, by the way. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed it. I was saying that might have been scariest thing on stage or the craziest thing. I would Um, say so, yeah. Maybe shoulder stands might be a really crazy move for me. Uh, I don't kick into my shoulder stands anymore, so I do it really slowly. So I do it for like a good minute. Oh my god, (laughs) Roughly. So So if you have ever seen any of my shows, usually around the end, I'll do this shoulder stand, standing on shoulder. Big ass move, guys. It's hard. (laughs) Yes. And slowly lifting my legs to the floor and all the way up into like a pencil. pencil. Yeah, there so, we go. Uh, big yes. crowd move. Yeah, people <laughs> I would like say. it. People like yes. it. It's tiring as hell, so. <laughs> oh, we've got the last question. So, uh, I guess we kind of went over this as well, but like, is there much difference between like the clubs, like in terms of are, is each vibe different? Um, are they very stripper friendly? What about the rules in each club? Okay, so each club is different. There is a general rule for all the clubs. There is no no contact. Don't touch us on stage. Yes. Uh, we'll try not to either. <laughs> <laughs> for private dances, there's no contact as well. So that's the most general rule. Oh, uh, for the five. Oh, yes. But at the five, there is contact. There is contact at number five. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone. Yes. They are trying to keep that more of a secret. Yes. <laughs> uh, oops, can I say that? Yeah, we yeah, can say it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure. We'll edit that out later. We'll oops. see. <laughs> All good. I'll definitely put on different shows depending on what club I am at. For example. So, for example, if I'm in Williams Lake, it's very country, mm. hillbilly there. So I'm definitely going to put on my country set more often, their type of country country music right more often other than if i'm at the five uh they want more hip-hop more hip-hop rap. and rap so i'll probably definitely do like my my race car routine which Ooh. is like rock and hip-hop I like that. and then there's clubs like the caddy i do both i do race car hip-hop or rap or rock and then i do do country at the caddy shack or even some of my asian sets yes, yes. oh my god i love it <laughs> <laughs> okay so really playing up the asian yeah <laughs> but up in here. <laughs> okay. Any last few words before you wrap up? Uh. I can't believe it's already at the end. We had so many questions. This is insane. Well, um, where can we find you, first of all? Uh, well, I am going to be at the Caddy Shack uh, mm-hmm. probably in September. And I'm going to be at the Penthouse uh, first week of September, actually. So that'll be my first time at the Penthouse. Have Woo! a dance there yet. Yes! Um, <laughs> Penthouse represents. Yes. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Excited to see what type of shows I could do there. Yes. Very diverse mm-hmm. there. It's diverse have there. A lot so. of fun. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to plug your Instagram handle, OnlyFans? Oh what yes. Else? So... Where can we find you? We want to stalk you. <laughs> <laughs> so you stalk me on my Instagram. This is dot Asia, and I have links to my OnlyFans, which is the real Miss Asia. Mm-hmm. To OnlyFans, you could also PayPal me at Mrs. Asia Official. Yes. 
No, I do need to pay my bills and rent. Girls gotta eat. So, <laughs> gotta eat. <laughs> gotta spend money, you know, yeah. live. Gotta shop. FYI, guys. Uh. <laughs> awesome. Well, it was such a pleasure. I'm so glad we got to hang out today, sipping some soda stream water here yes. <laughs> in my living room. So, um, thank you so much, Asia. It was so great for you to be on the show today. Guys, um, go follow her on Instagram, Mrs. Dot Asia, and we'll see you guys again next week for another episode of Stripped by Sia. Peace out, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Misa honey. <laughs> <laughs>